Hello friends, today let's see how to make drumstick greens puriyal. Heat oil, add quarter teaspoon mustard seeds and quarter teaspoon cumin seeds. To this add a table, uh, teaspoon of chili flakes and the cleaned and washed drumstick. the required salt, little bit of water and saute well. Now cover and let it cook for 5, five to 8 minutes. Stir once in between. And cover it, let it cook for 2 more minutes. Now the greens is well cooked. The water we have added is completely dry now. Now to this add boiled moong dal. mix well the green soup drumstick tree is very good for health it is rich in calcium and vitamins and minerals it is good for eyesight it's good for bones it's very good for children as well as elders since we have added moon dal i'm adding a little asafoetida And coconut and cumin ground together. This I have already ground, frozen, adding adding two cubes of it to this and mix well. Instead of a sifotida, you can even add a thinly sliced garlic or minced garlic to it. It's up to you, your taste. And instead of a ground coconut you can even add freshly grated coconut it will taste very good that's it our nutritious drumstick greens puriyal or moringa puriyal is ready hello friends let's see how to make ragi and moringa leaves or drumstick leaves a day it's a very healthy and nutritious breakfast recipe it's a traditional recipe too for this Take 1 cup of ragi flour, add 1 tablespoon of finely chopped onions, 1 teaspoon of roasted sesame seeds, quarter teaspoon of chili flakes, required salt, and 2 tablespoons of drumstick puriyal you can e even add the leaves directly to the flour and knead it but this gives a good taste if you add the leaves, sorted leaves, it gives a very good taste and along with the moong dal, it tastes really well. Now I have added a, around 2 tablespoons of moringa puriyal and to this add jaggery. Now this is optional but it is very good and it adds to the nutritional value. Uh, jaggery contains lots of iron so it is very good. Now don't powder the jaggery, let it be coarse like this. So, when you eat, you will find melted jaggery here and there, which will taste very good with this dish. The amount of jaggery that you add is depending upon your taste preference, sweet pref preference. That's it.
now add water required amount of water but little by little and then knead it into a dough this should be the consistency of your dough now i'm going to divide it into four equal sized portions make it into small balls now we have made that into four balls now take banana leaf smear it slightly with water take one ball and then press it with your hands the thickness is your preference this dish is very good for growing children kids who hate to have ragi kanji you can give them in this way it's very nutritious to make a small hole in the center i will show you one more method if you don't have access to banana leaves you can take an oil cover cut open it i've taken an oil cover cut open it on the insides you can make the roti make a small hole in the center now this is ready now if you are if you are comfortable you can even make the roti on the tawa itself but it will be very hot you need to be careful heat the tawa wet your hands a little bit take the dough keep it and do it this is actually the easiest method but those of you who fear getting burnt you can stick either with banana leaves or with a plastic sheet you can even use a um, ziploc cover for this make a small hole in the center gingerly oil tastes very good with this roti so use that for making now wait for one side to get cooked then you have to flip it and cook the other side now you can see that the sides are slightly above the tawa and this is the stage where you need to flip it you don't need anything as an accompaniment with this roti you can eat it as such with the jaggery and with the moringa leaves or the drumstick leaves and the uh, moong dal it will taste yum now this is ready remove any leaves if they are there on the tawa So this is what we made in the banana leaf. Flip it over, and then slowly remove the leaf. It's 
since we smeared water before making the roti, it will not be difficult to remove it. Add oil and cook. You can even make this with leftover uh, drumstick uh, green puriyal. If you do it with a plastic sheet, now this cannot be put on the tawa, so you need to remove it before placing it on the tawa. Invert the roti in your hand like this and slowly remove the paper with the other hand. 